getting pinned in wrestling is one of those things where you know in your heart, no matter what anyone says, that you were completely defeated. That there was nothing that you could do that this man or girl or whoever you just wrestled inflicted every last ounce of their will onto you and there was nothing that you could do about it. And for a while, getting pinned like really, really was a problem for me. Like I had a lot of trouble not getting pinned. I had an, a lot of trouble like if if I saw a difficult match and like my team needed the points, like if I was going if I was a sophomore and I was going against like someone who placed like fifth in state who play who went to states or something, like a difficult match, then it was it was hard for me not to get pinned. But once I realized like it's very, very simple not to get pinned, at least in like a head and arm or a half or like a Turk maybe. I'm talking about the getting pinned with like when someone breaks you down and then turns you. Uh, there's some funky pins that are like hard to get out of. But first things first, the most important thing to remember is as soon as your back gets exposed, as soon as you feel yourself starting to get turned, all right, as soon as you feel your back starting to turn to the mat, you need to find the, the rubber of your shoes and put them to the mat. You need to stick them to the mat, okay? Because we're not turtles, right? When a turtle gets stuck on its back, it stays there because all four of its legs, or all four of its legs are in the air and it can't do anything, right? It can't, it can't, like it needs a leg to touch the ground so it can push itself over. Thankfully, we're not turtles and we have legs. So as soon as you get put on your back, you look for the floor. You, the rubber of your shoe touches the mat and your head needs to stay in the same place, all right? I'm talking about the same place on the mat. It can't be sliding around on the mat like an ice skate. It needs to stay in the same place and you need to transfer all of the power that you have in your legs to raising your hips as high as they can and rolling onto your head while picking up that far shoulder. Do, does that make sense to you? So there's gonna be someone on top of you trying to push you down, right? You're gonna try and buck up and create a little bit of space, this tiny little bit of space so you can feed this far arm through and you can belly down. I know this doesn't make sense with my hands, but you're trying to, like there's this person trying to pin you, you're trying to like, with your feet on the ground and your head pushing your back off the mat, you're trying to buck up with your hips and f like snake your far arm. The, like if they haven't had an arm, you're gonna go like this, right? You're gonna turn into them, right? You're gonna take that far arm and turn into them so that you can belly down. And then you're gonna circle. You're gonna try and square your hips up, okay? Because even when you turn, they still have your head and arm. They can still, like, they can they can still manipulate you. They can still turn you. So you wanna square those hips up and try get to, try to get back to standing. Yeah, this is one of those things that gave me a lot of trouble, but once I realized what I was doing wrong and why I kept on getting pinned, then it was a quick fix, you know what I mean? Really, when you're getting pinned, you should be going all out, like completely all out, bucking as hard as you can, as many times as you can, because you're in very, very immediate danger. Like, you're about to get uh, scored on and you're about to get pinned. And no one likes getting pinned in front of their mom. And like, that's the only person who comes out to watch you wrestle, so like, why would you want to get pinned in front of your mom? Mom ain't raised on bitch! Yeah, I think that covers it. If you guys like that video, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. If you guys want more content from me, give me suggestions down in the comments below. But until next time, I'll see you guys. Peace.